do. Like whiskey tango Charlie. I I, I walk <laughs> in and I get a table. What what what's what going? in the Gaston County is hey, going on here? What, what's that? Right? Yeah. So everyone has heard of craft bourbons, right? So um, a great one right here is the barrel bourbon. Uh, people that are familiar with uh, the Cooper's Craft 100, where the inside of the barrel is routered. Um, people are familiar with uh, the Jay Maddenley, where he's maturating different types of bourbons, and you can actually go there and learn yourself where there are staves in the in the barrel. Craft finishing. Craft right. finishing. So, yeah. Maker's Mark, Charles, is probably one of the most well known for putting a forty six a, a French stave. Mark, yeah, Maker Forty Six, right? So. Right. So stay tuned. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of these lesser pick bourbons on the shelf and what you can do to turn them into a craft <laughs> bourbon. Is this some kind of magic show or some shit? It could be. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> All right, Charles, we all have birthdays. Uh, nobody's had quite as many birthdays as, as you've had, <laughs> but I just recently had a birthday, so. Uh, I, you know, that's okay. Huh? Birthdays are good. Birthdays are good. Yeah. And uh, on a birthday, so I want to bring this in. So um, kind of interesting, I want to show it to everybody, right? So this is a bullet, right? It's not an ordinary bullet. Right. Right? So it says, lucky you, you have found a cool new way to finish your whiskey. Finish your whiskey. Dude, finish I'm your not whiskey. familiar with this. So, this is interesting. I, I just want to be transparent. We're not being paid. They didn't send this to us, and uh, they damn sure ain't sent us any money. So, yeah. uh, so, really cool kind of label. And I want to open this thing up. So somebody gave you a gift, is what you're saying. Well, they think I'm a bourbon guy. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Oh. Okay. So I get this gift. I open the thing up, and I don't even know what to say or what to do, right? And I was like, oh, this is a nice box. And I kind of read it, and it said, a neat way to finish your bourbon. And I'm thinking, what in the world, right? So I open the box, and there's bullets like it's shaped as a bullet it's a piece of wood it's shaped as a bullet wow and there were actually three bullets in this three bullets three bullets and it has directions okay so for most of you that know me um First thing you do is throw the directions away. <laughs> right. There you, go. there you go. I'm a man, so that's what we do, right? It's the man thing. But in this case, I look at these wooden bullets and I go, they're not going to work in my gun. Right. So I better read the directions. So in the directions, the light brown bu bullet is a sugar cookies on the note and the mid palate. And there's hints of sweet buttery vanilla with a slight smoother finish okay all right charles it's a piece of wood that's been right toasted toasted not charred toasted not charred why is that important hey listen we we learned a lot recently you know about uh toasting versus char you know, we, we had a great visit with our good, new friend, Pete, up at Southern Distilling. And, and we, we got in a great conversation about uh, toasting of, of, of barrels and uh, versus char. And we, we had just a great conversation. Good gosh, it was, it was in depth. But, but these things here, this is, not, this is not like a nine millimeter deal here. This, no, this is, is like a, a big bullet. This is a full on round. This is high powered stuff. So somewhere in here i think it was on the website that i learned what, so right. they milled or turned this into a shape yeah 
they've toasted different types of wood. Right. So right. So this is this. That's looks, the light brown. That's the 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 sugar cookie. Okay. Right. So this so is what type of wood? That's maple. So maple wood. So okay, right. I can see we had maple there. Okay. All right. The the second one, uh, which is a dark bullet. Looks which, like brownies here. Right. So that is a black bullet, and it's very smooth on the nose. And the finish adds a note of toffee and vanilla, oak offered in a full-bodied buttery sweetness. I'll tell you right now, I can see this one has, not just toast, this this has char to it. I mean, you, you see just a little bit of ripple in the char. So let's so. talk about that a little bit. So everyone's familiar with the different types of um, finishing bourbon. So as it comes out of the barrel, some of it goes directly into a bottle, and some of it is the Tennessee, where they filter it through hmm. charcoal. Yeah. Right? And why is that? It's to take out the impurities, right? So the char, and where a lot of these people are putting these really deep chars on it, threes and fours. Right. Right? Are to take out the impurities. Right. Not necessarily to take to it's, add it's, the talons to it. So that's more of the toast. It doesn't right? it doesn't add to the flavor profiles. It doesn't there's no additive. The char really you know, as we got into deep discussion with Pete up there at Southern and um and I love this. I learn it. We, every time we go visit and, and get in deep conversation with people, you learn something different and what different takes are. So the the deep char really 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 helps mask over maybe some in inefficiencies in production and the distillation and and it helps pull out some of those things so so anyway it, it was really interesting and, and i love the fact that um um what we learned is the heavy toasting um where it doesn't really cover up it let, really lets the juice interact with the wood more because you don't have this char level of Right. level of whatever I'm saying there it's, it's able to penetrate and do more in and out in and out so but this so this these are bullets right right so no, what they're wood they're, they're little wooden pieces right. they're milled and turned to shape and they look like a round and they've actually been drilled in the end so that the surface area so think about that oh, wow. the surface area I didn't even notice that yep. is actually more surface area is getting to the bourbon. So let's talk about So the, what do we do with this? So hang on. So we're going to talk about the next one, which is a reddish brown bullet, mm. right? Cherry with the floral notes, strong on the nose, mm. with a real sweetness on the palate, and a finish of unique smooth. Okay. Right? So three different types of wood, mm -hmm. three different types of char, Mm -hmm. that you can use with a benchmark, with a Kentucky Tavern, uh, with, with, you know, just a out-of-the-box, ordinary $12 bottle of bourbon, hmm. right? And you may come up with something with a $100 bottle of bourbon. How do we know this, Charles? What? We have an experiment. What? Yes. Look at you over here. So, Mr. taking a Tango. bottle. And we've taken this ordinary bottle of bourbon. Right. It's not a bad bottle of bourbon, but it may not have the hints and the flavors that everyone's looking for today. So, Charles? Wow. We've taken this, we've put the bullet in the bottle. Right. And we've let it set. And the directions here are, load the bullet into your select whiskey. Because why? Oh no, we haven't added, we just added staves, so it's still bourbon. Right. So they say whiskey, but whiskey. we know it's still bourbon right. because we have only added a stave. Right. A bullet. Load the bullet into your select whiskey. Take a sip each day to get the desired result, usually three or four days. It's been in here a little bit more than three or four days. Okay. Use it again 
on two more bottles. Wow. So, oh. So let's go ahead. Oh. Experiment coming up here. Oh, see. And let's here see. Here we go. Pour. So this is a this is the one that has some cherry note. This has um. So it says, I want you to read that. This is the reddish brown bullet. Cherry floral notes are strong on the nose with a richness, rich sweetness on the palate. So um, it didn't tell me. So this is a piece of cherry wood. Yes. This is a piece of cherry wood. So, so one was a maple, one was an oak. This one here, the black, was a piece of oak. Uh, wow, this is really unique. What a gift, dude! I'm jealous. I have no friend. Right. I don't have no friends. No, like so this. you have an infinity bottle. I have no friends that give me kind of cool shit like this. Look, you can go out and take a piece of hickory that you got swatted with when you were a kid. Yeah. And put a torch to it and throw it into a bottle of bourbon, right? So, uh, what do you think? So, this is a cherry, been in the bottle. Wow. Not bad. So the, the source was the old Carter. The old Carter. The old yes, Carter it was. was the source. Right. So I don't know if it's a, I don't think I've get, well, maybe I am. I'm, I'm still, I'm still coming out of this whole sinus infection deal, but there is a sweetness there that I don't think is really old Carter. No. Is and, that cool? Uh, no, now, that's... wait until you taste it. We have now become Whiskey Tango Charlie are now craft bourbon finishers. And you got to witness it right here on YouTube. It really has a floral note to it on the palate. Really is a... Wow. Battleground. So I'm curious. I, I, this would be a curious. I love the question, and I'd love feedback if you guys have watched this. If you see this video, um, is anybody out there? And maybe you're not using bullets, but but is anybody out there actually doing like a little piece of wood, a piece of stave? I mean, whatever. I mean, this is this is very unique. I I'd never heard of it. So recently at a North Carolina Bourbon Society event, uh, had a little bottle share and, uh, and one of the members there had brought a, uh, uh, I think they called it a honey badger. No, and no, they, yeah, no, yeah. I love that. And they Sam's put, was a yeah. killer. And they put some honey into it. So this is just another level of a way that you can craft finish your bourbon. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, it's still called bourbon. Because well, we haven't added any flavor to it. Well, I, well, I, I'll discount the honey badger because you, you're you're adding a liquid. Yeah. But but a piece of a wood, a, a stave, if you will, if you will, into a bottle. This this is very unique, and so it. I don't know that it changes anything. So, um, Battleground Farms. It is a um, a veteran owned and operated establishment. Um, we encourage you to go out there and, and take a look at it and uh, maybe man, finish you a bourbon. Get you one of these things, man. Get you a bullet or a kit. And, um, I, you know, I really didn't think of it. I've, I've used the Infinity bottle where, you know, we sort of get those last little bits and you. Yep. And, I, and I've done some custom blending. It's sort of a takeoff of the Infinity bottle, but I've actually taken you know, different bottles and, you know, and I blended just to see what happens in, at home, just, just having some fun. And I've hit on some, some amazing blends using just right off the shelf stuff, you know, where I've taken some rye and maybe a weed and, and maybe a, a, just a regular whiskey, maybe a Tennessee and pull them together. A lot like, I mean, really, you talk about Bardstown and their, and their series here, the Fusion series where they've taken different barrels and different ages and different and blended. I mean, it just it's, it's sort of that same genre, if you will. And, and I've done that, but, but I haven't really considered something 
a piece of wood, a piece of oak, a piece of maple, mm -hmm. and adding that. That's so outside of the Maker's Mark 46, the only thing that really comes to mind for myself is this uh, Cooper's Craft 100. Uh, so the Cooper's Craft 100 um, is different than the Cooper's Craft 80. It's done in the, uh, the Frank Sinatra style of the Jack Daniels where they router the inside of the barrel after it's been charred. Mm -hmm. They allow those chips to fall down into the bottom of the barrel and they fill it full of juice. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple things going on there, Charles. One is it's got the charcoal in the bottom, yep. right? And then it is actually exposed more of the talons of the wood. Well, more surface area for sure because of the routing process. And we've, we've got pictures of that when we visit the cooperage, right? So imagine that there's a, there's a half inch deep groove basically that's been cut around and around and around and around inside the barrel. So it opens up more surface area, not just to the char level, it, it goes past the char back into some um, raw wood, basically. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, it, and it enhances um, interaction. And so, yeah, I, I, I think it's great. So, um, and one more comes to mind, our friend Jeff Manley uh, at Bourbon 30 um, will actually take some barrels that maybe not are as desirable to certain people and he'll put some staves in them and... and um... Work them. As he calls them, um, he and his son and the staff there uh, work with them and they baby them and... They, and uh, you know, it's really kind of interesting. So, um, and, and so I, I really don't know that it's, it's a really a little bit of magic that happens. But as you think about that extra wood, an extra stave or something in there, maybe, maybe there was some, maybe there's some bitterness that, that gets pulled out. But, but what ends up resulting is being able to go and thief something out, put a blend together that's your palate that you enjoy and that, that's 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 the magic right there and, and been able to bottle that up and say that's my blend like this one <laughs> is there a story that i remember jeff told about maker's mark and his mother or no am i i don't know. Ah, it's kind of hard hard to tell but dude i this this i i'm i'd be curious to give that another so a day or two, I'm going to plug check it, on it right here. So it's um, it's Battleground, Battleground Farms. Um, if you find them out in the wild, please pick you up some. Um, Whiskey Tango Charlie needs you to follow us on uh, social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, Instagram. Subscribe, man. Hell, we even have a. A Pinterest account, don't we? Pinterest. We got yeah. pictures. We, we, we put stuff everywhere. Right. We're all over. Right. And, um, and and make sure to check out our Etsy stuff for merchandise. We do laser engraving, a custom. You, you know, you got groups and little little clubs that want to get some glassware done. We do that stuff. Uh, really expanding out into some, uh, the merch. The merch is really expanding pretty quick. So, hey, you know what? Let's reach out to these guys. And see if we can't get some of this stuff on our Etsy page. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Or on our webpage. Yeah. Whiskey Tango Charlie to the uh, Bourbon Lifestyle. Hey, man. Cheers. Cheers.